Sometimes the snow comes down in June. Sometimes the sun goes round the moon. Just when you thought a chance had passed, you go and save the best for last. Cause how could you give your love to someone else? and share your dream with me. Sometimes the very thing you're looking for is the one thing you can't see. But now we're standing face to face. Isn't this world a crazy place? Just when I thought our chance had passed, you go and save the best for last. All right, Tom. Tom Ringling. <laughs> There's no crying in a wedding, Dennis. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, everyone may be seated. We're here today to witness and to celebrate a marriage under God. Danny and Carrie are bringing the fullness of their hearts as a treasure to share with one another. They bring that particular personality and spirit, which is uniquely their own, and out of which will grow the reality of life together. Let's say a little prayer, um, if everyone would bow their eyes. Father, we thank you for this union that you brought before us today. We thank you for the blessings that you give us to, to find someone that fills our hearts and then to unite under the oath of marriage. We pray for your, your blessings, for your guidance, and for your nurturing of this union, Lord. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Danny and Carrie met through our very own Surf City classes. <laughs> Back in September, Denny asked her out to Huntington Beach, the air show. And this was in October, October 5th. It was that day that they both fell in love with each other. A month later, on November 6th, Carrie round up the courage and asked Danny to marry her. <laughs> Danny joined SEC in August with his 1988 35th anniversary Corvette. And only three weeks later, he watched Carrie pull up in her 1962 red Ford Thunderbird mm -hmm. and with her daughter-in-law, Eva. It was at that moment the Hawaiian flower nestled on <laughs> Carrie's ear that <laughs> caught Danny's attention. 
her relentlessly gleaming smile and her beautiful dark hair, like that of an island girl, brought Denny's knees to shiver. He knew right at that moment he had to meet her. Carrie first noticed Denny as a shadow behind the lighting where all the classics were parked that evening at the club meet. She describes Denny as emerging into the light from that shadow. And at that moment appeared a tall, handsome looking surfer. She had always dreamt of that. The first day turned out to be the beginning of something special that would become an inseparable bond through their life's journey. Denny expressed to Carrie he wanted to show her the world and share God's love with her through his personal walk with the Lord. They have since begun attending church together every Sunday at H2O in Huntington Beach and have not missed one Sunday since they began the relationship. There's an art to marriage. The promises you make today will have to be made tomorrow and all the rest of your days. There's an art to marriage. Happiness in marriage must be created. In the art of marriage, the little things are truly the big things. It is loving your husband and wife more than you love yourself. It is remembering to say I love you at least once a day. Perhaps not always in words, but the way they look at each other or touch. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should continue throughout your lives together. It is never going to hold old hands. It is never going to sleep angry. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together to face the world. It is forming a circle which gathers in God, the whole family, and the family of friends. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude and thoughtful ways. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a good sense of humor. It is having the capacity to forgive, to forget. And last, remember, every single day of your life, that there is someone who loves you for what you are, and that someone is right here in front of you. Our minister, when we got married, gave us helpful words of advice. And uh, I'd like to share one particular part of that with both of you. Denny, it will take time, actually years, for you to become the perfect husband. But don't worry, you're going to get there. <laughs> Carrie, by this time next week, you will be the perfect wife. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> the vows. The vows which you, Denny, and you, Carrie, will exchange will serve as a verbal representation of the love you pledge to each other. It is not the words which you will speak today which will bond you together as one, but the inner sense of love and commitment that each of you feel within your soul. Denny and Carrie have written their own vows, and they will share those with you. They will recite to each other. Um, Carrie, we'll have you go first. Actually, we didn't write anything down. <laughs> We're pretty impromptu lately. And uh, when I met, when I came here, I came here, I was uh, a widow of two and a half years. And one of the last things that my husband had told me was, here's the keys to my car, which I never let you drive, and take it, leave the city, leave, and you'll find new friends, join a new club, and you will fall in love. And I thought about that for two and a half years, and when I decided to go out, this was the first club, the first day, the first of it all, and I found somebody that I wanted, that I fell in love with. But I didn't want to say anything at first. <laughs> but when I seen, when I came into the parking lot, I just seen a shadow, and I just seen him with his knees bent. And I said, there's my surfer. And then he came up, and we talked, and it took a few weeks to feel confident. And uh, I was with my girlfriends in the car. We were driving. I was showing them my new city that I fell in love with. And Danny called on the phone, and they said, answer it, answer it. And it went straight to the speaker on the, on the dash. And he asked me to go to the 
uh, air show, and that's when they're all saying, yes, yes, say yes. And I just thought, like, oh, well, they're here. How, you know, yeah, okay, I'll go. But it was my, the best decision I made oh. in a long time, and I needed it. And I never went home. <laughs> and I've been here since that day. They even evicted Denny because of me. <laughs> and we found a new apartment, one block from the beach. So it got even better. But I did ask Denny to marry me because I was the marrying type. And that was whole, and that was the whole purpose that I even went out with Denny. If I just felt that my husband had let let me go for that I could find someone else and I still believe he's right behind me. And I believe he's here. I don't think he's ever left me. And Danny says even in the afterlife we're gonna have to share. <laughs> and he's okay with that. But I know that my heart's with Denny now. I felt that right away. And I've slept peacefully since meeting him. And I want to continue to sleep. <laughs> so, we're here. Awesome. Well... Like she said, I've been praying for a long time to meet a woman that put the Lord before herself, and it was her. When I saw her gleaming, that relentless smile, her sister-in-law, daughter-in-law, kept getting in front of me, and I know ways how to swerve around, because I've shot the pier many a times. There she was, just glowing like nobody's business. But her business was beauty and just being real. I think the flower in her hair got me <laughs> because I lived in Hawaii for 30 years. And I was always attached to elegance, and kindness, and graciousness, and God-loving woman that she is, and that's all I've wanted all my life. And now on our journey, we go to church together. I'm so happy with her. She's fire, like I've always wanted, airy center. And it's just my kind of woman. I'm like on the cusp of water and fire, Aries and Pisces. So I calm her down. Yet I give her the fire that she needs. And the warmth that she has is relentless. And I always have admired her for her unending beauty and graciousness and sweetness that she is. She told me she didn't know how to cook. And for a month and a half, I cooked for her. And then I asked her, can you boil water? And she goes, yeah. I go, well, can I have some oatmeal? And she goes, okay. And then I found out she had talent. And then I really, really wanted her. I go, you know, I'm yours. Put chains on me. But you got to let me go when I want to go to the beach. And I'm taking you with me. So, fortunately enough, we found a place, and her by my side, I have the power and strength that I needed. And I thank God for her, for it was the Lord that brought her to me, as well as this club. God brought me to it because they're spiritual, and that's what I needed. Okay? Amen. 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 Touching. Thank you. Well, this is
let's move forward, shall we? Okay. All right. Well, I do. Her, do I take her hand? So, yes, go ahead and take her hand and just stare into each other. And we're going to do the I do's, okay? <laughs> Denny, do you take Carrie to be your wife? Will you love her, cherish her, and comfort her through sickness and in health? Forever. For better and worse. Yes. Now and forever. Yes. I will. And Carrie, do you take Denny to be your husband? Will you love him, cherish him, comfort him for sickness and health? For better and worse, now and forever? I do. Like a fine wine, a great love will deepen and mature. The rings. I think Junior has them. <laughs> and then, okay, I'm gonna have you guys stand a little bit apart just for a little bit. Okay, a little bit apart. Right, very nice. Okay. <coughs> the rings that you are about to exchange symbolize the union of two souls. The ring is made of a pure element. It is round and therefore it has no end. You will wear your rings every day of your life because you just want to tell the whole world that you have found love, that you are complete, that you have become one. Treasure this because not everyone has a privilege to wear one on his own hand, and you will every day. Denny, please place the ring on Carrie's finger and repeat after me. I give you the symbol of my love. I give you the symbol of my love. Knowing love is precious. Knowing love is precious. And fragile yet strong. And fragile yet strong. I give you the sign of my love. I give you the sign of my love. An ever present symbol. An ever present symbol. Of the vows we have made to stay. And the vows we have made to stay. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As I give you my love. As I give you my love and heart. That's great. All right. Carrie, go ahead and place the ring on Denny's finger and repeat after me. I give you the symbol of my love. <laughs> I give you the symbol of my love. Knowing love is precious. Knowing love is precious. And fragile yet strong. And fragile yet strong. I give you the sign of my love. I give you the sign of my love. An ever present symbol. And ever of the vows we have made this day. On the vows we have made this day. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As I give you my love. I give you my love. Show everyone your beautiful rings. You want to see? Show them, show them everybody. There you go. Check them out. Okay. <laughs> All right, perfect, right there. Okay, Denny and Carrie, cherish each living moment together, savor every breath, and grow with each experience so that the attitude of celebration will stay with you for all your days. May the love and the passion never fade away. May the future that lies ahead be one of, full of great and unforgettable experiences. And may you be the reason for the other. And may you always be truthful, and may you always be you. May infinite happiness accompany you during the life you are beginning together. Today you came here to make a pledge, and now that promise has been made. Therefore, along with everyone here present, it is truly my honor to make complete this union of your lives. I now give you into the keeping of each other in the highest and noblest relationship recognized by society, under God, and the laws under which we live. It is great pleasure and humility that I pronounce to you as husband and wife. Denny. How about that? Come up for air, Denny. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you two lovers, congratulations. And I got something that I want you two to do for good luck. And this is what this club's all about, family and love. And this is what happens down here. One big family, baby. 
And you two yeah, follow me because I have a cake here that we've gotten for you guys. And we want you to cut the first Yay! piece for good luck together. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're not done yet, Brian. Uh-oh. Everybody, please rise. I pronounce to you, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Oh. Yeah. How about that? What a night, what a night. Awesome. So for all you new guys, if you don't know, but I've been saying for years that we're going to have a wedding down here, and we finally have a wedding down here. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Heather's next, she says. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Ah. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> hey, so cut the search great now. Cut the cake, you guys, and we'll get it split up, and then we'll get on the road here pretty soon as fast as yeah. we can, guys. This cake yeah. tastes better than castle. <laughs> Mary and Danny. Look at that slice, okay. Okay. Slice of the steel. And then here, honey, let's slice sideways. Can we get around? Okay. But there's still a lot for you guys, okay? <laughs> Alright you guys, we're going to cut this cake up as fast as we can and shovel it down as fast as we can and go cruise, baby! <laughs> So, um, I was thinking, since it's a special okay. evening, maybe let's we can all do Dukes. Let's do one though. Everyone oppose, or anybody have any other ideas? I think we're going to go into Dukes tonight. We're going to park on the third floor of the parking structure like we always do. Jamie will watch the cars. Before we roll out, for good luck, come up and get a piece of cake. We've got lots of cake there. we got to get rid of it. Have a piece of cake. As soon as we're done, let's say it's 7.30 right now. 7.40 in 10 minutes, we're going to roll out. Thank you. Can I see a show of hands of people that think they'll probably be going to eat at Duke's just so we can kind of call ahead and give them an estimate? Anybody coming to Duke's with us tonight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Duke's, we're going to Duke's. Oh, okay. You're coming. You go around. You too, Scott. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and do a little kiss. Give a little kiss. There we go. Beautiful. Awesome. Want some on the frosting? No, I have Brian, you just have to move out of the way. I'm gonna have to help. I love you too so much. <laughs> you guys made my my dreams come true. It shows what we're all about. I'm one big family. You guys are here. Thank you for being best man, brother. Hey, go on for it. I love you. Stepped up. Hey, everybody did it. We have everybody help out the club. That's what makes this happen. All of us make it happen. Thank you. Thank you. Really, really appreciate you guys, man. Very touching. How about moment. that, Dano? How about that? How about man. member of the month, Dano? Oh, guys? man. Oh, we got a wedding down here. We got uh, Russell with Car of the Month. And we're getting to roll out here pretty soon. Yeah. Man. We're going to have a big cruise. I hope, every, you, I I hope everybody rolls out on Magnolia. Hey, Scott. You got the cans in there? Here you have it. I'm gonna grab some cake and catch the rollout. Then live, Daniel Vision, Surf City Classics. This is our first. Carrie and Denny Smith, Mary and Brian, best man. That's right. Hey, Surf City Classics. Ha.